Hello everyone, my name is Rick Malava with SimplyMaya.com. My nickname in the forums is CTV Ram, and in a previous video, um, I discussed a method of taking a uh, uh, an input network of curves and projecting it down onto a surface, and then using the uh, paint effects, converting those projected curves, these projected curves, into a series of paint strokes and then converting those paint strokes into a mesh uh, so that you can effectively create a sort of a grid pattern that's been conformed to a poly shape. Now uh, just like with texture projection when you use this approach we get stretching down the sides uh, of the surface so I started thinking a little bit more about it and I uh, came up with a slight modification to the process that uh, gets us uh, a little bit more of the effect that we're looking for where this mesh is literally wrapped around the surface and not just projected down onto it. And so the way that I did that is imagine if we start with uh, this as our final shape and I make a copy of it and then from the top I do a UV projection I pin these four UVs and I unfold the surface. I end up with something that looks like this as a UV projection. And then I take this surface, or this, uh, yeah, this poly surface, I create a duplicate of it, I smash it down flat using the scale, and then I stretch it so that it matches this UV projection, and I end up with something like, like this, right? Now, imagine me taking this input grid and projecting it down onto this surface. If I turn off the, uh, the final shape. Now if I take this input grid, I project it from the top down onto this surface, uh, I end up with uh, something like that. Right, so now I've got those curves projected onto the surface. Now imagine if I take this surface um, and the original surface, and I create a uh, a blend shape between the two. So you go into create a former blend shape, and I I do a blend between these. So now if I take this surface and I go here and I blend it I can go from the flattened surface back to the original shape right and now I've got these curves uh, projected curves I've got these curves projected onto the surface if I use the same technique that I demonstrated in the previous video and we convert these projected curves into strokes paint strokes using the uh, paint effects curve utilities curve utilities attach brush to curve then I convert all of those brush strokes into a mesh using the modify convert paint effect to polygons, I end up with uh, I end up with this. Now I have a poly mesh that's been projected down onto this surface that matches that curve network. Now if I take this poly shape and I use the create deformer wrap deformer and I select this this curve network that's been converted to a mesh and then I select this poly shape and do a wrap deformer that takes this poly shape and wraps it around all of these uh, all of this uh, uh, mesh network and now I go back to this poly shapes blend shape node and if I blend that back to the original shape magically you have a grid network that is conformed precisely to that shape. Now there is some distortion from distance you can't see it. I'm still investigating ways of uh, fixing the distortion. You can uh, do it I think pretty quickly with a lattice uh, and it's going to be very hard to take a surface like this. It's fairly extreme and flatten it out and not get some distortion. But uh, you can see from this render here that it looks it looks very good uh, when it when it's done. So that's basically the technique that I've come up with is taking the uh, 
uh, poly shape that you want to project the curve network onto, duplicate it, uh, do a UV snapshot from some angle, uh, take and flatten, make a copy of that shape, flatten it out, and then have it match the uh, match the unfolded UV snapshot. Then take and project the uh, or create a blend shape between the uh, original shape and the flattened shape. Right between the flattened shape and the original shape. Then take a curve network and project it down onto the flattened shape, convert that curve network into a mesh, or into paint strokes, and then convert those paint strokes into a mesh. And then take the uh, flattened poly shape with the blend shape node attached to it, and use it as a wrap deformer around the, the mesh network. And then you can, uh, and then you can take and Uh, you can take and morph it back into the original shape. So one, this has been uh, Rick Malava with uh, SimplyMaya.com, and I'm continuing to explore methods of uh, uh, taking a curve network and wrapping it around a poly shape and getting it to conform. So uh, I hope you guys can find uh, a uses for this technique. I can think of a lot of things that I can do with it. For instance, uh, very quickly before I close here, uh, imagine if we go back to the original shape, the flattened shape, and before I convert the, uh, the curve network into paint strokes and the paint strokes into a mesh, uh, if I went into that curve network, and now I went and I rebuilt all these curves such that the uh, control vertices uh, sat over the top of all of the places where they intersect. And then I went through selecting every other vertex and pulled it up. And then on the uh, uh, and then I went through and selected all the opposite vertices and pulled them down. Uh, I would end up with a weaved pattern. Now I've got this weaved curve network pattern projected down onto the surface if I go through the rest of the steps and convert this curve network to paint strokes, the paint strokes to a mesh, and then wrap the mesh with the poly shape underneath and blend it back, you'll end up with a uh, not just a curve network that's projected straight down and wrapped around, but you'll have a, like a weaved curve network pattern. So you could actually create a, a weaved a three-dimensional weave network that wraps around the shape and conforms to it. So that's my technique. If uh, anybody can continue looking into ways and come up with uh, uh, ways of uh, either simplifying this or refining it or improving upon it, feel free to comment in the uh, in the comment section. Uh, and uh, until then, I hope you guys can find uses for this, and I'll continue to look for for ways. Uh, uh, to, uh, to model things in Maya and hopefully help you out in, in your projects. Uh, thanks a lot for, for watching and I look forward to uh, hearing feedback from you in the forums.